good Thursday evening afternoon afternoon and uh, welcome back to Martin's Koi Pond and Aquatics and it is hot 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 I think it's about 28 degrees today and the fish are really having the food um, I adjusted the uh, auto feeder yesterday I've got it in frequent feed mode and it's now set to go off every hour between 8 a.m. and 8 p.m. so it goes off one portion on the hour every hour starting at 8 in the morning finishing at 8 p.m. and um, when it does feed they are smashing it absolutely smashing it and uh, that portion doesn't last long and then obviously they all swim around again and uh, every so often they keep going back to that corner just on the off chance look mm, is there any food here no we'll go mooch about a bit more so uh, here they go look we'll all mooch about oh no one had a look there might be food we'll all go back again <laughs> it's hilarious uh, I mean I've got a Labrador um, dog and I thought he was driven by his stomach but he is, he is uh, nowhere near as bad as Koi. They are horrendously driven by their stomachs. So, um, yes. Well, not a lot else really to uh, say news-wise about the pond. Everything's ticking over lovely. Um, fish are doing really well. No sign of any parasites or anything. Um, got a week off work next week and I'm going to my carp syndicate for three days and two nights all by myself shut away behind a locked gate with a flushing toilet it's absolute heaven down there um, the, carp, the only sad thing is all the big carp died a few years back so they're only small carp at the minute and we're waiting for them to sort of grow grow on but uh, there are two 50 pound catfish in there so uh, it does give me something big to fish for so what I'll, I'll probably do a little bit of filming while I'm down there um, to pass the time away but um, yeah the pond's doing really well the tanks in the house are doing really well um, I went to Kingsling Koi on the way home from work today, nearly bought another um, golden albino grass carp, still debating it, it's nearly as big as clunk and he only wants 40 quid for it, so the temptation is there. Right, I will catch you in the next clip when I might be doing something a bit more interesting than just looking at the fish. Okay, welcome back. It's uh, a few minutes after I filmed that last clip and by my calculations the uh, auto feeder should be going off shortly. Now, knowing my luck, I've well miscalculated and we'll be sitting here watching fish swim around for quite a while. But I think it should be imminent. There's one little... Here goes the feeder. as you can see it's carnage here yeah, what I was going to say is there's one little pellet caught in a fold on the liner uh, underneath the feeder and it's driving them nuts trying to get to it so that's that 4pm feed and um, they made short 
work of that. So mix feeds at 5 p.m. Well, good Saturday afternoon. Welcome back. And we are inside a fishing shelter because it is raining, although it's not raining very hard at the moment, but it has been absolutely peeing it down. Um, so I've got some news, not good news, I'm afraid. There's a bucket here with a milky solution in that is siphoning into the pond because um, the big shoe sweet Vader was really going for it last night and this morning with flashing and flicking and I um, gave him a scrape this morning or this afternoon and absolutely infested with fluke skin fluke um, on the one slide there was 20 to 30 on the one scrape so he's obviously got a lot and if he's got that many then other fish in the pond have obviously got them so went to Kingsland Koi um, I tried fluke off last time by Cockney Koi which is for Bendazole so I wanted to try a Prazzi treatment this time and they've got Fluke S by Kasuri so you have to mix that up with hot water first and then put it in over an hour-ish well I thought I might as well just siphon it in um, that will put it in nice and slow so it's siphoning uh, been doing it about 10 minutes I guess so yes We've, we've got uh, flukes still. Um, I thought I'd got rid of them, but obviously not. Um, unless they've come in on another fish. But I don't think... Well, I did buy two fish yesterday, but that's too soon for them to get infested on the... Uh, on, on the uh, shoe sweet. So, um, I'm guessing that I didn't get them all. And when I checked him having done the trick and fluke treatment before he was clear um, so I didn't I just didn't obviously didn't do enough scrapes I would say because I must have missed them um, but they were definitely body flukes I could see the baby flukes inside the bodies of the adult flukes um, when I did the scrape So, we've given them a good dose of Prazzi this time. And then we'll see how that goes. If that doesn't shift them, then I'll have to go to one of the Pro um, treatments. Either Lernex Pro or um, Fluke Solve Plus. Um, but we'll see if this does it first. Well, I used Fluke Solve Plus last year, so I know it works, it's just bloody expensive, so I'd rather see if I can get rid of them without going down the route of nearly £80 for a treatment. Um, anyway, the sharper eyed of you might notice that um, I've got a second grass carp it was the one that was in the shop with cl is clunk with clunk when I bought clunk and it still hadn't gone yesterday when I went in there so I spoke to Fred and he said I could have it at a decent price so I brought it home I do absolutely love clunk so um, I'm gonna call that one slim because it's really long and thin and I've also bought a metallic chocolate koi. It's about 30 centimetres. It's not very easy to see. Which I'm going to call Bourneville. And <laughs> Fred thinks he might be some sort of um, ghost koi. Can't even see him at the minute. Um... But he's really lovely and I really like him so um, 
I, I got him for an absolute bargain. I'm not going to say the price, but for the size of the fish, I think it was a, a steal, so I'm quite happy with him. And um, he's just there. Not easy to see because of his colour, but he's absolutely gorgeous. Right, that's enough waffling for now. Um, I have earmarked some of these fish for moving on next year. Um, I am going to be heading more into the single coloured fish. I really have a thing about single coloured fish. Um, but there's certain ones like Mega, the big shower, he's never leaving. I mean, he's just amazing. Um, but um, more on that at a later date. But for now, we'll uh, we'll get on the treat and these here flukes. About halfway down the bucket, and uh, let's hope we can get rid of them. Catch you in the next clip. Well, good Sunday morning. Um, following on from yesterday's uh, video about flukes. I realised that I'd moved five goldfish into this tank from the pond about ten days ago and obviously I couldn't take the risk that they had not got flukes so I've ended up having to treat all three of my goldfish tanks um, I did have some aquarium fluke solve so uh, this tank uh, the Fancies tank and the Naughty Boys tank have all been uh, treated with fluke solve. Um, fish seem fine for it. Um, the reason I've done all three tanks is when I'm cleaning and siphoning water out and stuff, the pipes are used on all three tanks. So, you know, there's a chance it flukes could have got in all three. So better be safe than sorry and um, and uh, treat all three tanks I mean this tank is looking amazing if I do say so myself I absolutely love it um, uh, it's uh, cheered me up having lost Simon that I'm enjoying the goldfish so much uh, I've got lots of colour in here lots of movement there's no aggression um, and it's just a really, really nice tank to look at. Anyway, that being said, catch you in the next clip. Well, good morning. It's the uh, day after the first um, fluke S treatment. And I have to say, the fish are looking loads better. Even Vader who was infested when I uh, scraped him is uh, barely um, flashing or rubbing or anything and there's no fish sulking on the bottom or anything like that we're uh, they all want food um, so hopefully the uh, fluke S has uh, start to kill off the flukes I know they don't die straight away um, and they kind of have to pop um, but uh, it's looking encouraging um, I'm fishing later this week for three days so probably not going to do any water changes or clean to the nexus for a week and the reason for that is to obviously maximise the um, fruit treatment time in the pond at the you know required concentration. Um, and then we'll see where we are next Saturday. I will um, I'll scrape a couple next Saturday. Hopefully, we'll be flukeless, but. Uh, we can but hope, I suppose. But, um, it's Father's Day today, and 
got all my kids coming over, my grandkids are coming over, and we're going to have a bit of a barbecue. So you see Vader had a little rub there. Um, but he was going absolutely crazy yesterday morning. So being this sort of calm today is a marked improvement. I was hoping, because the light's in a different direction, I was hoping to uh, show you that metallic brown koi I bought. But of course, when you're filming, they disappear to dark corners of the pond and uh, you can't see them. So, unfortunately, I'm not able to show you it. I might catch him out at some point. Um, He's over there near Vader, just coming across the bottom of the pond. Um, I didn't film him in the bowl yesterday when I bought him because it was so windy you just wouldn't have heard anything. Um, anyway, I'll probably wrap up the video here. Um, the next video may well include a bit of fishing, because like I say I'm, I'm off fishing for three days. And um, just watched Jifter's uh, Mike fill his pond up, and I have to say it is looking fabulous. What a job that man has done of his pond. Hats off to him because he's done it all himself, apart from the fiberglassing. And if only I was that DIY savvy. Anyway, I'll wrap it up now, catch you in the next one.